Hey guys, I haven't done a budget lens review in a while, so I figured I'd show you this one. It's an older lens, it's a Sigma 70 to 300 APO. This particular one is for the, uh, the Canon model, they make it for uh, Nikon and, and such. But I got this specifically for uh, a friend of mine who likes wildlife and he doesn't uh, really want to shell out the money for a really high quality lens but after using it a while and also I, I relied on this for this year's solar eclipse that's all I had at the time um, I figured I'd give it a review because at the price range it's, it's actually not too bad and the uh, APO designation is what I'm mainly interested in and that's uh, you know APO chromatic so color fringing, chromatic aberration, that sort of thing are greatly reduced in this lens, which is, is excellent at the price range. And why I'm showing it to uh, my viewers is there may be times where you want to shoot wildlife or specifically um, shots of the moon on a crop sensor you're getting a pretty good range here. Uh, so framing up the moon with, with a background, this would be, would be ideal for that. Uh, you don't need a really fast uh, f-stop for that. And uh, does pretty good with lunar on crop. It's also got a macro capability, or what they call a macro capability. It's actually between the range of 200 and 300, but it's a one to two ratio, not a true macro. But it, it does offer really nice close-ups. Uh, the only problem is you have to be beyond three feet to uh, focus on your subject. The, uh, this particular lens, the, uh, the zoom is broke on it. So something to look out for if you buy it used is uh, just make sure that the uh, the zoom works. Uh, basically, um, it's retractable, but it won't extend out. Uh, there's little tabs on the inside. I've taken this apart. I need to buy the uh, just the zoom barrel and replace that. I might show that in a video for people who might own this lens that are thinking about trashing it. Um, not so great construction I've heard a lot of guys say it was rigid it's, it's not rigid when you open this thing up it's a solid full of plastic and um, the trouble that you get is people would use these and pump them in and out like this and manual to get like a lens blurring effect and that's not ever good on the lens it's, it's actually pretty stupid but <laughs> likely that's what was the cause of this one being damaged. I bought it because it was cheap and I knew I could fix it. You're up in the, around the 400 plus range for landscape shots and it being um, somewhat apochromatic and characteristic, it makes it good for, uh, for doing like shots, including the moon and that sort of thing. And I've taken some um, night sky shots of just stars and the, uh, you know, it's obviously not a fast lens, but on a tripod, it, it does pretty good with stars and not a whole lot of chromatic aberration, just as the, the name signifies, which makes it uh, unique at the price range. Quite a lot of glass in the front of this guy, too. I took it out and I shot some daytime stuff. I also shot uh, the moon and on a full frame camera, there's a slight vignetting that occurs. Um, and on crop and full frame. Past 200 it starts getting a little soft, but what can you expect? Um, new you can get these for under $200. So, But having the, the aperture control and the uh, internal lens communications with your camera is really nice and that sets it apart from, from like mirror lenses, reflex lenses and that sort of thing. And the optics are a whole lot better in this without image stabilization it really suffers um, if you were trying to do video or something like that you can hang it up you really need a tripod on this past you know 70 millimeter um, the edge sharpness is good just like people claim um, 
color contrast is pretty good. For the price, if, if you're into budgets, um, lenses, and you need something in the range of 70 to 200, um, in this case 70 to 300, it's not bad. I'll show you some images I took with this, this lens, and uh, also the solar eclipse video I made, I shot with this, it's relatively easy to focus with. It comes with a lens hood also. Uh, you might not get that if, it, if you buy it used, but they're easy to find. And uh, you can store it this way also. Something that um, is a little annoying is as it focuses, the barrel turns, so it's not ideal for filters and that sort of thing. But overall, um, I'm generally impressed with it. And like I said, I wanted to get it for a friend of mine. He's, he's kind of stuck in a in a range with his lenses below 100 millimeters, so he's out there with his refractor telescope trying to take pictures of foxes in his yard and stuff. So with this crop camera, crop sensor camera and, and this particular lens, he should be able to get out there a good range and, and uh, with fairly good contrast and that sort of thing. So hopefully that works out for him. But I just wanted to show you guys, um, I'm very interested in anything budget. This has been around a while. There's a lot of reviews on it, some really good ones. Um, but I can recommend it. Um, you can sometimes find them broken or damaged for 50 or under. And uh, maybe I'll make a video on, on showing how to repair these. You can find parts relatively easy or buy them for parts. And uh, it's, it's not a hard thing to take apart. There's no soldered uh, connections or anything that you have to remove in most cases and uh, in, in this situation it's just a there's a gear that runs around the inside of here with just two little tabs and one of them is broke off so it will uh, zoom inwards but not outwards uh, not really a big problem when they're new they, they don't have a lot of lens creep either I should have mentioned that uh, so pointing it up it's not going to slip down on you like most of your cheaper telephotos. Uh, this is a cheap telephoto lens, but it's resistant to lens creep, so that's that's good for Astro. And the APO quality of it really stands out, so I thought I'd share that. Okay, so I'll run through some images and uh, nothing real fancy, just some shots here and there of different subject matter and stuff, and give you an idea of what it's capable of. Hope you enjoy it.